What the hell are these things? This is why I bring overpowered weapons. Let's go, come on. <clears throat> come on, today's the DLC day. Come on. DLC. I must play. Okay, so we got this quest. Hey, there's something you what do you need? Thoughts? Your thoughts? Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get. How do we get out of here? Send help. We're trapped. Oh. Bye, Nick. Going up. So I'm Kellogg now. I'm this piece of crap. You popped in out of nowhere. Roof access. Let's open you up and let's just get out of the dodge. Oh shit! Wait, I need to save. I need to save. Do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. I missed. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. No. How is that not killing you? Deep into that. Nick. Something up? Your thoughts? Flying that ship into the heart of the Commonwealth. Mark my words. The Brotherhood's here to start a war. Yeah, I don't trust these guys. That's all for now. Well, all right. We need to start getting ready for these guys. I might join up with the Brotherhood, but I do need to prep my defenses because I don't trust these guys. Right. You see that big blimp? It's the Brotherhood of Steel. Why are they here? To be assholes, that's what. So I'm pretty sure what I should do after I do this is probably try and build up the defenses at my bases. Oh hell, you're here. Ellie? I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Who's our client? A fisherman whose family lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. I had a worried look a mile long. Thing you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. I'll go check it out. Thanks. Honey. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. That's how the hog cases always start. I hear you, Nick. Let's get this thing repaired and then we'll head on over there. Now let's take the armor like it is. Note to self, pick up parts on the way. Holy crap, when they set up north, they weren't even kidding. Nice, new house. Ah, Christ, there's tons of you. Fight me, mate. Oh. Why is it always these long walks? Please explain to me. Yeah, uh, why we're here. This is why I use this thing. So this guy said he was a friend of Nick's. Probably should have expanded to the coast a lot sooner. 
And don't tell me we stumble upon a missile silo. Oh no, this is a helipad. This is a base. Oh, God. there's the lunatic asylum thing. Ambush. Defensive protocols engaged. Okay, shut down unit. Oh no. Stop. Hammer time. Hammer time. Phrase this hammer. This hammer is Jesus. Oh, these guys just killed the rogue robot. He just realized it at the last second. I'm gonna assume that's his house. It's up here near the edge of the map. I need to get up this rock face. Okay, up here. This will be the way. Okay, fence. I cannot go that way. Holy crap, where do you live, dude? How deep is this? Holy sh they need aquatic armors. Is that his house? That little cottage? This area isn't even texturized. It's a lighthouse. Ah, crap. Uh. Here, so. Let's Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Someone has her. They could be raiders, or gunners, or God knows what else. And I'm here to save the day. I uh, hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick, thank God. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You brought a partner? Good. The more eyes, the better. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended sour. We got out. That's all that mattered. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. We're here to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Is something wrong? Well, I, I sort of had the same question. It's just uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Doesn't really matter. I'm here now. I've just got to deal with that. Good attitude to have. Not the way I felt. It took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. The folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. M massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. 
Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own, a synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. When security finally put enough holes in him to drop him, they say he was full of servos and sprockets, just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter, gal of about 15, pride and joy of the mayor back then, a man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl in four tufts. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going beep, beep, beep. Hardest part nice. of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be overprotected. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry. I had some spaghetti. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. So the boathouse, press to take a look in here. A hidden key, huh? Good work. Just gotta find whatever it unlocked. Military duct tape! Oh, and her tall tape. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds 
sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. Yes. I can make my way to them from there. So the daughter takes off by boat. But more importantly, colony of your kind. Colony of synths up near this far harbor. We need a way to get there. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the waters better than anyone. Excuse me, Mr. Nakano. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure she's human? Oh god, what am I doing? Yes. I know my daughter and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, Detective? I think Kasumi took off somewhere up north. Do you know what's up there? Where specifically? I've been up the coast, almost to where the waters start to freeze. But that's a lot of miles. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. What can I... I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked... I know it'll be hard waiting for word, but try to carry on like normal. Uh-huh. Please. Here we go. Oh god, it's moving. Yo, dude, what? Oh, does it actually show us traveling? Dude, we're hauling. Does it actually bring us there? What? It is actually bringing us somewhere. That is so cool! We're almost at Far Harbor. Oh my god. Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Oh sh... Fuck that. Oh god, okay, don't jump. What the f*** is that? Looks like we're coming in. Like port. I so do not like this right now. Hi. Hey there. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. Don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. What? Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. What the hell's going on? 
I don't see anything. Oh sh! The hell! I peeled everyone. Open the gate. I've got hold it out here. There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gulpers, look on. Defend yourselves. What the hell are these things? This is why I bring overpowered weapons. What are they doing? Dude. No. Eyes on the phone. Something's coming. Oh, what? Why did you set up here? Why? She wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner, shipwright, handyman, and the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Started hull breach. Oh, crap. They're all dead. Appreciate the help, Mainlander. We're all still in one piece. Can't hardly believe it. Avery and the others were just doing their jobs. But you, you ain't one of us. We owe you. And harbormen pay their debts. Here. What were you doing? What were you doing out there? Scrapping. Picking over the old ruins. Avery wanted more rebar to shore up the hull. More wire for the condensers. We put our necks on the line for this town. And what do they do? They shut us out. Leave us to die. Damn them. Damn this fog. Damn this whole island. I'm heading back to the mainland. Far Harbor can fend for itself. And there we go, max charisma, baby. Seriously, though, rip. Damn, look at these things. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. And people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. If you manage to survive despite all that, it must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. Jesus, calm no down. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. 
What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. They worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. Uh -huh. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. Uh -huh. You know as well as... Sure, people have... Right, can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge. Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's... Uh -huh. People around here are known for being... Uh -huh. Longfellow. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to please lend a hand around and let me say something. Let's talk to you piece of shit.